Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we are back with another video. So we're going to be doing some power leagues. So you guys can see we are currently on the mini account. We are in L3 on the mini. Currently on the main, we are the only player in the world to have masters. Now I know Raz is like a couple games off. So by the time this video comes out, Raz might have hit masters. We can't really get any games on the main. So we are currently 13th in the world on the mini. We haven't played on it too much, but we've been on a pretty good winning streak on the mini as of late. Unfortunately, we don't have a lot of the meta star powers, gadgets, or even brawlers even close to max. So sometimes it gets a little bit difficult, but we're going to try and pull through. We're going to be looking for two, three games for this video today. So with that being said, let's hop into the queue. Let's get things started. All right, so here we go into our first game of the video. So we are going to be facing up against Raz. Toast Fanboy, who is a very good player, but we are not going to reveal his identity because I think he wants to keep it a secret and me saying in a YouTube video obviously wouldn't help that and QLS Meliodas who I've played two power league games today and I'm 2 it out with QLS Meliodas uh it's gonna be stadium so we're just gonna go ahead and ban so we're gonna have Shine, STMN, Zeus and myself now my name is Ince Bobby um if you guys want to know my why my name is Ince Bobby I made a tweet uh saying that my most liked name the most liked comment I'll change my name to an Ince Bobby one so that is why we have Ince in our name I'm gonna go oh he's gonna take Tara, I don't know about that Tara pick. I think Bell would have been better. I think Barley would have been better. I think there's a handful of brawlers that definitely would have been better. I think Meliodas is going to go ahead and take Bell, which kind of sucks because I would really love for my team to have Bell, but it is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. It is what it is. Um, he's going to go ahead and take Barley, okay? Barley's a good pick. Let's see what Toast Fanboy takes. I wonder if he's going to take a lane or a mid. Probably Leon, if I were to make a guess. Maybe... Okay, they're going to go ahead and take M's. Interesting. Don't go Bo, STMN Zeus. Go Bell. Please. All right, STMN Zeus is going to take Bell. I don't know what to take here. Um... Oh, I don't know what to take. I wish I had Gadget on my Surge. Um... I can't really take Spike. I guess I'll just go ahead and take Mr. P. I really don't want to take Mr. P, but I feel like that's my only option right now. Uh, with my Brawlers, I mean, I can't really go with Tank because they counter Tank. And if I were to go with a Tank on the Barley lane, the Barley would just use Slow. I don't know how this is going to go. It's going to be pretty interesting. I definitely can't carry on the Mr. P, so we're going to hope Shine and STMN Zeus can pop off. So let's see what happens. With that being said, let's hop into our first game here. And let's see how it goes. So we're going to be getting the bad side, which I think is fine. I don't really mind if Shine has good side. Going to be laned up against Toast Fanboy. It's going to be so hard not to call him by who he is. But that is our goal. Going to just try and get our penguins here. It's going to move up. We're going to be able to get some taps. Do we have this kill? Okay, Shine's gonna be able to get it. Good kill over there by the teammates. We have our lane one. Shine is gonna go ahead and win his lane. And now we're in a pretty good spot. We almost have our turret, so we're gonna try and get our porter. There we go. We're gonna get our porter. We're just gonna put it out over here. Shine almost has his pull. So that's what we're gonna be waiting for. We're gonna be waiting for Shine Slay's pull before we make a move. Raz is gonna hit a little trap. We're doing a pretty good job on our lane so far. We're gonna use our gadget just to make. Mr. Toast Fanboy, not waste, or not, sorry, not not waste, I'm not going to let him regen. Going to use our gadget there again just to waste some additional shots. Unfortunately, Shine still doesn't have his, um, his super, which kind of sucks, because we definitely do need that for scoring, but whatever. We'll make do. Again, we're doing a pretty good job on our lane. And it, it's pretty hard for Shine to get super against a Barley. I mean, a Barley's a really good lane. That's why I wanted my teammate to pick it. So hopefully you can get it soon. We're going to try and hit Toast Fanboy. Doing a pretty good job. Shine's got to be really close to super at this point. We're just going to push the ball forward. Not really going to get anything out of it. And now we're going to move back into our lane. We're pretty close to our Porter again. We're going to be able to get it. Toast Fanboy pretty low. He's one shot right now. We're going to be able to get the kill. That was close. If that would have been in, if that would have went in, I would have been very salty. We're doing a pretty good job here. Still have our lane. Shine finally does have his super. We're gonna be able to hit Raz over there. So doing pretty good, I'd say at this point. We're gonna move up our turret a little bit further, just for a little bit more pressure. 
Trying to get some shots. Not going to be able to. The solo pull coming in. He's only going to get Toast Fanboy. And I don't think that's going to lead to too much. But STMN Zeus is going to put that ball in the net. So we just can't concede a goal now. Raz is going to get marked. So that's a good start. Again, just can't concede a goal. And we're going to be fine. Raz is going to get speed. But I think it's just too little too late. They're going to go for the ball. They're not going to be able to get anything. And that is going to be game one. Now, if I were to make any guesses for game two, I bet you they try and switch lanes. Because that's probably the smarter thing to do. Put the barley on me and then the M's on Shine. Now, the good thing, though, is that Shine will have good side. Let's see. Are they switching? I can't tell. I think they're deciding. Okay. They've decided to make the switch. But this does give me and Shine good positioning that they did switch. Or since they switched. So, that should be pretty good. Maybe we can get an early goal off that. I don't know. Not going to hit any shots there. Oh, good shot over there by STM and Zeus. We're going to go ahead and kill Raz. We're going to kill Toast Fanboy. And we're going to put that ball in the net and take the one to nothing lead very early on, 30 seconds into the game. So they're going to have speed now. So this is very scary. Their comp with speed, especially into something like a Mr. P. You know, I don't really do that well with dealing high DPS. So it's a little bit scary, but things are going pretty well. Raz trying to kind of like force a goal. He's not going to be able to get it. Shine, I don't know what that was right there. Shine, but please never do that again. Toast Fanboy is going to move up with his super. Not going to be able to make any plays. And things are looking pretty good for us. I'm going to try and reclaim my lane over here. Raz might be thinking about something. Hopefully we have Shine kind of like bail us out if anything happens though. Because he does have super. That really got to Toast Fanboy. There's no way. I'm going to use my gadget over there. Because I think it gets pretty good, good value. Being that it had no HP. And again, I'm just trying to keep my distance from the M's. Because obviously the M's does a ton more damage than I do, so I can't really be contesting it too much. I'm just going to move up over here. Just trying to tap it. SD Men Zeus, by the way, has been doing a great job. Just want to say that. I don't always rage at, ra rage at all the randoms. You know, I like to praise some of them when they do a good job, so we're going to use the gadget over there again. We have one more gadget. Rise is going to hit that over there. He's not going to go down. Toast Fanboy is pretty low gonna use our gadget do we get that kill i think we do yeah we do get that kill so we're gonna move the ball up here with 30 seconds left in the game we're just gonna put the ball in their corner now and we're gonna reset our porter and we're gonna put it over here the reason we put it over here is just for a little bit more pressure now they only have 30 more seconds to score a goal so if we just don't concede a goal in the 30 seconds we don't have to go aggro whatsoever we just can't concede the goal and we will be fine. So they're going to go and grab the ball out of the corner. Not too much time left. Shine is going to go for the solo pull on Meliodas. It looked like he kind of gave up over there. But he's going to go down. And it looks like this is actually going to be game. So game number one, we're going to be able to take the W. We're going to actually beat the number two player in the world in Power League. So we should be able to get a pretty thick amount of ELO. And honestly, that was kind of a team diff. But STM and Zeus and Shine played fairly well. So GG's to them. That was a lot of ELO. That's definitely going to move us up on the leaderboard. All the way to number eight. So again, let's queue back up. Let's get into the next game and let's keep going. All right, so here we go into game number two. It's going to be me, STMN Zeus, and Shine again. So it looks like we're running it back on Bridge Too Far versus ESK. Blood Diamond Havi, who's a very good player. But he's from Europe, so he's going to have to lay. And I don't know this other guy. So I'm going to go ahead and ban Piper. Reason being, I think they banned Brock. Okay, very epic. And then... Hopefully shine takes bell and this is how we basically win the game. We have the best brawler on the map They're gonna take two lanes. We're gonna take two other lanes and we're gonna see what happens now shine Please take the bell. Okay, he takes the bell. I have pretty good faith um, In this game to be honest. I like you know, I I rock with this team. We did pretty well last time uh, I think we're facing an easier team this time than we are last time and it's a little bit more on a skill dependent map rather than just you know, Super Stadium where a lot could happen. 8-Bit. Interesting pick. 8-Bit and Nani. Interesting. So I don't necessarily know what the best strategy is. I'm probably going to go with Colt. Byron isn't a terrible pick. I don't hate on the Byron. Now, Colt, Colt's basically like you get DPS with Colt, but it's not going to be the easiest to win lane with. If you win lane all game, you're going to win the game if you have Colt because your DPS is safe. It's just going to be insane. Now, unfortunately, I don't have the gadget I want, but, you know, this is fine. I can make do with this gadget, I guess. Just break some walls in the middle or something. I don't really know, but 
We're gonna see what happens. I'm pretty confident. They're gonna go with like maybe Amber or Leon or something. Maybe Bo. I don't know necessarily what the best pick would be here. Maybe Pam, but we'll see what ESK decides to go. If it's something, you know, beefy, I'm assuming we're gonna get a good amount of supers. Okay, B. B's a pretty good pick. I probably would have taken B if I actually play B, but I don't play B. So, um, B is the lane that I definitely want to be on. Now, Javi does counter all of us, and he's a very good player, so this might get a little bit toxic for us, so we'll see what happens, but... I'm spawning on the left, so I'm just gonna go up the left lane, and we'll see who I get. Also, I get these words at the top of my screen as if I don't know how to play the game. Oh, that's not very nice. I get Javi. So I can't really see the top of my screen for like the first 30 seconds of every game, and I know I can fix this, I've just been too lazy to fix it, so... You just gotta survive 10 more seconds, basically. Don't know where Javi is. We've been doing a pretty good job at chipping, though. Walking through this, like, little one, like, three-tile area over here is pretty toxic, I'm not going to lie. I'm not really a huge fan of this lane, but we are winning the game, so YOLO. Oh my god, Javi, stop. There's not too much I could do here. This is so toxic. I'm just going to go ahead and try and break this. Try and get that clip. There we go. We're going to be able to get it. And this is going to be a good time to break this. And try and pinch out Javi. Oh my god, he's so slimy. Javi's so good. This guy's my idol. Alright, we're going to be able to get the kill on Javi. Now, SDMN Zeus is doing a ton of work over there. If it's going to get onto my lane here. Javi is going to go for the TP, he's going to get it, he's going to go down, and we're able to get a kill. So two kills at the same time, we're going to be able to get two clips off onto the safe. We're definitely being carried so far, but this is toxic, I do not like my lane. We gotta try and hold this middle ground, we, get, we can't get pushed back to where it's just three tiles, because that's where we're just going to lose every single time to, uh, to Anani, no matter what. Now there's shots ricocheting back and forth, this is so toxic for Javi, like he's just trying to play the game and the 8-bit is not allowing it. Javi's gonna stand still. He's gonna shoot his 8-bit as he should. This 8-bit's kind of throwing the bread. Oh my god. Thank you, Shine, for bailing me out. Oh, I'm gonna go down there, but... This game's looking pretty good. It's a pretty promising game. Javi is not happy whatsoever about what's happening during the course of this game. I'm gonna go for the clip on Javi. Not gonna be able to get it. The 8-bit's gonna do some work, actually, on us. SDMN Zeus is trying to carry us, but we're just a little bit too heavy for him. I'm just going to try and body block whatever I can. We're going to body block a decent chunk of that. Oh my god, Javi, stop! Javi, I, like, I can admit when I'm being carried, and right now, I am being carried. Like, this Javi guy, he's just the GOAT. I'm sorry, Javi, you deserve to win that game. You don't deserve to lose, and I deserve to lose that game. But sometimes, it's just how the cookie crumbles. And we're going to take the win game one. So I'm going to definitely run away from Javi because I don't really like that. Or should I lane him? I don't know. I feel like I can definitely do better than I did that game. And we won the game by a good chunk, I guess. So I'll just stay on my lane. I'll just take one for the team. I'll take the L's. But this is just toxic. Oh, I guess I don't have him on lane. I just ape it. So it should definitely be a little bit easier with ape it on lane. Looking to help out a little bit on the Nani lane because I know how difficult it could be. Hit some good shots. Shine's going to go down though, unfortunately. We're going to get a Byron super though, so the Nani's going to go down. I feel like if we can just beat the Nani, we're going to win this game. We just have to work together to beat the Nani. Shine's going to come on my lane. He doesn't want to lane the Nani. See guys, at least I didn't leave my lane. Like, this is a very toxic lane. It's not my fault. Just too good. Nani's probably going to go up. He's probably going to try and base race. I'm just going to super the safe, get as much damage as I can. Shine's going to worry about the Nani in our spawn, I guess. I'm just trying to do a ton of damage. I'm going to go down, but we have a pretty thick damage advantage right now. A little bit over 40%, so we're just going to take this out very fast. We don't want to have to deal with this. Looking for the clips there. Don't even have to clip. Javi is still not very happy about his performance from his teammates. But, I mean, you know what? That's just how it is. Gonna go for a clip here. Looking for some more clips. I keep auto-aiming because this guy is slowed, but he's not hitting. So I'm just going to stick to aiming, I guess. Trying to juke here. Not trying to allow them any positioning. Oh, Zeus is going to be able to pick up the kill over there. I'm pretty sure the 8-bit is kind of low. It is. We can't get the kill, though, because we suck. So we're just going to go ahead and we're going to clip the save. 
Ivy's gonna go up. He's gonna make a play. Okay, I thought he was gonna super me there. That would have been so clean if he got the kill on that super. I'm gonna go for some more damage. Nine more percent, and we win the game. There's a head coming up. Hopefully, it can be juked and we can just do some damage. It's not going to be juked, though, unfortunately. Big damage outburst by the 8 bit over there, but this game, I think, is just about chalked. We're gonna be able to kill Javi over there. We're gonna shoot the save. We're gonna gadget the save, and that is going to be it for game number two. So, another win with the same teammates. Definitely got carried. Did not deserve star over there. Shine or STMN Zeus, one of you guys can take it. But that's going to be a win. So again, we are going to move up in the ELO a little bit. A little bit closer to Masters. Do we remain in 8th place? We don't. We move up to 7th place now. So we're going to do one more game. Let's hop into the queue. Oh, we insta-queue. Oh, and we have Patchy and Sword on our team versus IX, Chepo, Jinglai. And I don't know who the third guy on their team is. So it's going to be Backyard Bull. Um, we're going to go ahead and ban Brock because... Sword doesn't know how to play Brock. Let's be real. We don't want to trust Sword. Sword is one of our longtime friends. We've known him since beta. We don't want this guy playing Brock. We want him playing, I think, Leon or Bell. So I'm just going to flash Leon and Bell, and he can play whichever one he wants to play. It's up to him. I'll let him make the decision. He's going to choose Bell. Okay, I knew he was going to choose Bell. Bell is definitely way more in his comfort zone. And Tribe Jinglai. He's not even going to wait. He's not even going to show any respect. He's just going to go for the instant dodge over there, just like Tribe Jinglai does. So let's go into our next match. Rip the insta Q. Let's wait the Q. Let's get into it, and let's see what happens. So here we go into our next game, and we have an absolute banger of a game. So it's going to be myself, my STMN teammate, Toonie, who is STMN Fence. I'll play the clip. And... The GOAT himself, Sword, who we had last game. It's going to be Super Stadium again. We are going to ban... Let's ban Stu. I don't want to deal with Stu. They're also going to ban Stu. Please take the Sandy Sword. So Sword is probably going to go Sandy because he listens to me a pretty, pretty fair amount of the time. Um, and we're going to be going up against Second, which is an insane player. Chepo, which is an insane player. And then Killer17, who... He hit Masters last season, I believe. He's someone you see a good amount in Power League. So we got a banger game here. Should be pretty even. It's probably going to come down to comps, but having Sandy is a pretty good start for us. So Killer's going to go ahead and take Nita. I like the Nita pick. Chepo's probably going to take Bell. I don't see why you wouldn't take Bell in this situation, but at the same time, I don't know. I got to start thinking about what I'm going to go. I'm probably going to lane, I guess, Mr. P. Oh, they don't. Interesting. Maybe Surge? Okay, he's gonna go Surge. I'm going to go Bell. So let's see what second heart Mikasa goes. Probably something a little bit tanky. Maybe something like an M's. Maybe something that's good with the max speed. I don't know what second heart Mikasa is gonna go. Maybe a thrower. I could see a thrower. I could definitely see it. Okay, spike. So the spike is to counter STMN Fence, aka STMN Toonie. I don't have the right star power with Bell, but Bell's star power doesn't make or break the brawler, so it should be fine. So this is going to be a sweaty game. Definitely a great final game. So let's see how we're going to end off today. So we're going to shoot to the left right here to try and hit the Nita. We got two hits on the Nita to start the game, so really good start by us. Gonna put this in an aggro position. You with the wrong I shouldn't be giving Nita hits. That's something I definitely have to avoid. Sword is really low. He's gonna go down. I'm just gonna try and gather my shots up together. This is gonna be a really hard lane though for Toonie. Doesn't look very fun whatsoever. Sword already has super, which is really good. We're gonna be able to get one tap over there again. A little bit of a difficult game here for Toonie. Toonie's gonna be able to get the kill. I'm just gonna stand here, take the shot. It's gonna go in the net. It is going to be one to nothing for us with a pretty quick goal, 40 seconds into the game. Trying to hit Chepo. Gonna be able to hit him twice. He's gonna dash out. We're gonna go up, put a mark right over here. The Nita is going to pop bear. I'm gonna help Sword with killing it. We're gonna be able to get the kill, but now they're gonna move up with some speed. STMN Fence, aka Toonie, is going to try bailing out. We're not in the greatest spot here, though. We're going to be able to hit Chepo with the mark, though. 
SDM and Tuni gonna be able to get the kill. Sword should be able to get the kill. He's going to be able to. Tuni's gonna pass the ball to us. We're gonna. Oh, I was gonna try and pass it back. No, unfortunate. Sword's gonna move up. He's gonna be able to get the kill. He also has a sandstorm. He's. He had a little bit of a hesitation there. We tried to go up, and I think that got him killed, but it's okay. Tuni doing a pretty good job right now. Sword's gonna put the super out. It's gonna be heal, which is definitely the better one for this map. Gonna be hitting Chepo, gonna hit the Nita. Trying to mark the Nita, not gonna be able to do so. Gonna hit Chepo though, and the Nita again. Nita with another bear. Oh, Tuni just missed that shot ever so slightly. We're gonna be able to pick up that kill though. But things aren't looking too good. Sword is going to go down. We're trying to get a kill here. We're not going to be able to. And they're going to put the ball in the net. I do think we're favored in overtime. But it's going to be a little bit difficult to get there, I think. We have one more trapper. He's going to place it right beside the ball. Getting a few taps to start off this portion, I guess. Sword with the stun. We're going to be able to get the kill. So really good start. Hopefully we can just make it to overtime here. The Nita Bear and Sandy Super is basically going to decide overtime though, which kind of sucks. Max has speed. Oh, I forgot they have Max. Max is so good in overtime. We go for the mark. Going to miss it. I think the Max is going to miss the speed though on the Nita. Oh my god, I'm whipping. Just going to click the auto aim button. There we go. We're going to get a hit. Trying to kill Chep over here. Nita got a bear. Almost wasted it. That would have been pretty OP if the Nita Bear wasted it. Oh, a nice double kill over there, though, and Sword's going to put the ball in the net. Doesn't matter anyways, and we are going to take the one to nothing lead. So, pretty good start. I feel like we held down the mid pretty well. I don't think we ever lost mid to Chepo there, but we are a bell. I don't know how we got bell being the fifth I'm pick, but we are a bell. Holder. Trying to tap up the Nita. Able to get some good shots to start off, so Sword's going to instantly get position over there. Now, again, the start of a game is really tough here for STM and Fence. Definitely not the most fun for him. Good shots over there by Sword. We're going to be able to get the kill. STMN Fence is moving up. We're going to pass the ball over to Sword. We're going to put a trap down. He's going to shoot the ball forward. Was going for a gadget play. Kind of messes it up. And that's not too good because we want to be able to have position. Oh, I just missed that. So we got no lanes right now. We're just going to try and hit shots to hold them back. But we're going to go 0 for 3 on shots. And our stun thing, not really a stun, but... Our trap is going to go to waste, unfortunately. Sword's going to be able to pick up that kill. Tuni's doing a really good job. We're going to be able to pick up the kill over there as well. We're going to be able to take out, I believe, that's second, second cactus. So that's pretty good. Sword's going to go for a play. He's not going to be able to do anything with it, though. Again, we're just trying to hit some shots. Getting a couple taps in. Tuni's going for the kill over here. We're going to be able to help out finish the kill. I, oh, we didn't tag. I thought we got the tag over there. Sword's going to grab the ball. I think he should just play it up. That's what he's going to do. Second's in a pretty scary position. We don't really like him in our spawn. There he is. He should be able to get that kill. He's going to be able to. I'm just going to hit the cactus. Oh, this is not very good for us. He's going to be able to get that kill. So I think we got bailed out a little bit there. We're just going to play this ball up that side right here. We should be able to get a pinch kill over here on this Nita. It's low, but we're not going to be able to get the kill. Hitting a good amount of shots, though, over there. Sword's going to sneak up. Going to go for a play. Going to take out this Nita bear. And again, we're getting dangerously close to overtime here. We're just going to put a mark right over here. Not a mark, a bell trap. Right over there. The Nita's trying to move up onto Tuni. It's a pretty tough lane for Tuni, to be honest. Probably not the most fun thing in the world. Anita, I guess, is just behind us. Just going to click auto aim a couple times. We should definitely get it, though. We're going to be able to get the kill. Going to miss the mark. And now they're moving up very speedy, which is very bad for us. Trying to get some taps. Not going to be able to. Second's probably just going to try and put the ball in the net. I'm not too sure. Just thinking about it. Oh, this is not very good for us. In fact, this is very bad. Come on, we need to hit some shots. No shots are being hit, though, unfortunately. Oh, oh, we're not able to do so. So I don't want to put any blame, but because these are my two friends, I'm going to put some blame. Sword wasted a couple gadgets. Last game, we were able to get, I think, two kills off of the gadgets, but Sword tried to get a few kills with the gadgets this game, and or goals, I mean. It just didn't work out whatsoever. But again, we have really good position to start off this game. 
So that's obviously really good. He's going to try it again. And this time he's going to be able to do so. So I guess me talking negative about Sword kind of worked because he was able to get the goal. Chepo's going to go really aggro here because he is not a fan of losing position to start off. Oh, SDMN Fence trying to make a play. He's not going to be able to. Sword, again, it would be nice to have some like sandstorms or something. Oh, we're in a bad spot here. We're in a brutal spot here. This is not very good for us whatsoever. Sword, oh my god, the wasted gadgets are killing us. I hope that doesn't cost us the game. Some whiff shots over there, like if you had a gadget right here, that's a kill on Chepo, but we have no gadget. Chepo's playing really well right now. Oh, we are just lost at the moment. We are down so bad. Sword finally gets a super, so maybe we get bailed out of this current position. I am one shot. Sword's getting clipped. Chepo is playing out of his mind right now. Second's also playing amazing. This is just a really competitive game. We're going to be able to pick up a kill, though. Some speed over there. We're going to move up. We're not going to... Oh. We're going to put it in the net. That was a little bit scuffed. I didn't know what was happening, but we're going to put it in the net. And we're going to be able to take the dub over second killer 17 and ix chepo so an absolute banger of a last game but we're going to take the w our elo is going to move up a little bit more and to end off the video let's see what place we are globally we finished the video in spot number five so i really have not been playing on this account too often this is only my fifth that was my fifth game today but we are five and oh we've been winning a lot of games so we've been moving up very nicely but that's going to be it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed these three games. The reason I did three is because I know you guys have been missing these videos. So I just wanted to pop off and get you guys three games instead of two that we usually give. But that's going to be it for today. If you guys enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe, all that. That's going to be it. And I will catch you guys later. Hopefully tomorrow. We'll try as soon as we, as soon as we can. But I will see you guys then nonetheless. Peace.